Jerry has indicted three police officers for manslaughter after a man they tased died. The incident happened last October in Crestview. Today, the alleged victim's family says the charges are a step toward justice. Our Cody Long joins us live now with more. Yeah, the victim's mother was on a virtual news conference with attorneys today, and they're all just relieved by this indictment, but at the same time, they're still patiently waiting for justice to be served. They killed my baby, and I don't can't see him anymore. I can't sleep at night. 40 year old Calvin Wilkes Jr. died the day after Crestview police officers tased him in October. They trussed him up like some animal and just tortured him to death. And I want them punished. A grand jury indicted officers Brandon Hardaway, William Johns, and Evan Reynolds for manslaughter. They've been suspended pending the outcome of the judicial process. We hope that you know they are ultimately convicted. Uh, however, in the interim, I think and we believe they should be terminated. Police responded October 14th to a home on Hospital Drive after a woman was reported screaming at someone to stop. They arrived and found Wilkes. They claim he was cooperative at first, but became aggressive, closing the officer's foot in the door. Police say he put up a fight while being detained, and that's when they tased him. His family's attorneys say this indictment is the first step to justice. All of us demand that justice, and we will fight hard to see that day. But tonight, for what has been done, we are thankful. The Crestview Police Chief said in a statement, as a law enforcement agency, we must trust the justice system we are charged to enforce. We will continue to cooperate with all parties involved as we await the outcome of the upcoming trial. And there is body camera video in this case, but it has not been released yet. If convicted, the officers face a maximum of 15 years in prison. Reporting live tonight, I'm Cody Long, WKRG News 5.